Welcome back to Money in Life TV, the place people come to to learn about finances, investing, and taxes. Well, how's it going, YouTube? How y'all doing out there in the lands of the internet? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, Chipper and I have some wonderful information to share with you and a new free downloadable spreadsheet. I was hoping to get this video out a little sooner in the tax season, but it didn't quite happen, so here it is. So a lot of you out there, you're hustling, you're doing your business. You're, you might have a Schedule F, you might be a farmer, you might be a sole proprietor and have a business, and I thought it would be a good idea to share a spreadsheet that I've created, and I, to be honest, I created it for myself, because doing YouTube now, I needed to do this to track my revenue and expenses to help me fill out my tax forms and things like that. So I wanted to share this with you because I think it will help you man help you better a new way to manage your books, a, a way to give you an overview of how you're doing business-wise, if you're profiting, if you're not profitable, things like that. This is the poor man's version of bookkeeping basically, but it can work, especially if your business is small, if you don't have a lot of transactions going on, this can be a very easy way for you to manage your books. I see a lot of people with businesses and they don't have a even a basic way to track how they're doing. And so I wanted to create this and share this with you guys. As you guys know, I love to explain things with examples. So the example we're gonna use is Chipper's awesome YouTube channel. Now this is a fictitious example, but I have a feeling that Chipper might actually leave me someday because you know, that bird thinks he's awesome. He thinks he's great. He thinks he doesn't need me anymore. Sometimes I even amaze myself. Now the example we're looking at here, it's based on a fictitious YouTube channel, but it doesn't matter what kind of business you have. It could be a landscaping business. It could be a, like if you're a hairdresser, you know, a plumber, whatever kind of business you have, it doesn't matter. You can still use this spreadsheet and benefit from it. So on this first tab, what you're seeing is you're gonna see income up here, then we're gonna have expenses, and then this is by month. So this is a profit and loss statement by month. I don't have a balance sheet made yet, or at this point, but for tax purposes, your primary tool that you'll use for your business is a profit and loss statement, not so much your balance sheet in most, most cases. So this is by month, like I said, and this will give you an overview of how you're doing month by month, you know, how you're either whether you're netting or whether you're not, and then everything will be summarized in total. So your total revenue in this example is $4,800 or almost $4,900, and Chipper's total expenses on his awesome YouTube channel are these, and this, it totals all these up right here. If you double click, all you gotta do is double click, you can see where the formulas are at. These numbers I've highlighted, these are linked, and I'm gonna show you guys that, where they're linked, and you're gonna see how that works. And all these highlighted in blue, these are linked as well, and I'll show you how that works. And then at the end of the day, when you're doing your taxes, at least you'll know you'll have a net income of roughly that. There are some book to tax adjustments you might need to make, like adding business mileage, business use of homes, and things like that. But in a general sense, just your income and your expenses throughout the year for your business can be nicely summarized right here, and you can see how you're doing every single month. Now, it's totally up to you how often you wanna update something like this. If you wanna do it every quarter, great. If you wanna do it every, every six months, it's great, but I would really recommend you do it either every month or at a minimum every single quarter so that you can determine if you need to make estimated tax payments throughout the year. I wanna show you guys now along the bottom of the screen you're gonna see these different tabs. So this first tab I right here, this is gonna summarize all the information from, from this, all these totals. It's gonna nicely summarize them automatically into this, into one annual financial statement. That's something you can give to your accountant or just use to help you prepare your taxes and keep track of your books in general. So that's what this is. And these links, this links back to the first page. So this 4,896 is linked to here. So it knows where to pull that from. And if these expenses change, this is, everything's linked, so it will automatically update these expenses as well as you enter them. Now I wanna show you guys how to go about entering your income in this spreadsheet. It's really simple. I don't wanna to spend too much time going over every little detail because I think you guys are gonna learn a lot of how it works just by playing with it. It's really not that complicated. Even if you haven't used Excel, you can. a lot of it's already set up for you, and so you can just dive right into it and just change things around based on your type of business, your type, the different types of revenue sources you have, and the different types of expenses you have, and then go ahead and proceed forward with the spreadsheet and customize it to your own liking. So with, now in this example, 
that we were talking about. So, so Chipper has a YouTube business, right? Chipper has his own YouTube channel. So this is YouTube income or his, his Google ad revenue. So that's the one revenue source. And I have a, its own separate tab for it because I want it to singly identify that source of revenue. So in January, as you can see, Chipper made $187, March $200, etc. And so all of these are adding up the total revenue for the month. Now, now this is a, if you guys have never done YouTube before, this is a perfect example of how it actually works. So typically Google sends out an ad revenue check on the 21st of every single month. And that's why the dates over here that I've listed are on the 21st in this example. And so there's just one source of revenue every single month that Chipper's receiving currently from his YouTube channel. He doesn't have any product sales and I haven't included that for this example. If you guys want to create a separate source of income or account for different kinds of income, then all you would have to do is you could just copy this and paste it down here and then link things up or you could just right click on this and do move or copy, select the income one, which is this one in this example because that's what it's called, and do create copy and hit OK. And then you could rename this to be whatever. So that maybe this is consulting revenue or something. You know, whatever your business has, you could you could call it that. And then you could modify this to be consulting revenue and link link that all right here on on the spreadsheet. And you can you could do it really easily. It doesn't take much time. I think this to get this whole thing set up, it might take you maybe like a half an hour, maybe an hour. I don't think it's going to require too much of your time. It just depends on how much activity is currently involved with your business. I'm going to try to keep this as short and concise as possible for you guys. So I'm not going to go over every little detail, but this, as you enter this information, what's nice is that because this page feeds this page, these numbers will autom automatically update. So let me get to show you an example of how it works. So, so right now we can see that the January revenue, is currently set at $187.52. Well, let's say I have a different number or it needs to be something else. So all I have to do is come back here in January for the month of January and I just need to update this to be, let's say it's $250. I hit 250. This will automatically total it right down here. And if I go back to my first page here, my P&L by month, it's already updated. So it's what's really nice as you fill this these different tabs out as you enter your revenue information and as you go to your expense tabs over here, as you as you enter these these kind of transactions, the spreadsheet on that first page that we were looking at, all of this is automatically going to be updating for you on this page because everything is linked. It knows to pull that information in and link it right here. And like I said, guys, you can really customize this to however you want to be. So if you wanted to add new expenses, just right click here and do insert row. And then you could title it something to be like, you know, let's say you have a landscaping business. So let's fertilizer or something like that, right? So maybe it's fer fertilizer. And let me just take off the bold here. And then what I would recommend doing is then creating a, t a tab down here in the expense section and creating one for fertilizer and you can track it this way. And the reason I put each of these tabs down here for you guys is that you can track what's happening in your business and on your books every single month. You can enter every single transaction and date for each expense category and the spreadsheet will do the rest of the work for you. This is the most tedious part of it is just setting it up, getting it to, to be the way you want it to be with your income expense items and the rest of it will flow right into the front page of this spreadsheet and update for you and so on and so forth. So I think you guys get the idea here. This is, I wanted to create this so that you could have an easy way to keep track of your books, your expenses, because it's really important if you're, if you're thinking about starting your own business or if you're already in business, it's really nice to have something where you can tell what's going on within your business. So a lot of people, they don't have anything set up like this. They don't even know how to go about it. So I wanted to show you guys a brief example of what I've seen in the real world as a professional CPA, people that people use or like based on different formats I've seen and I've created something of my own to share with you guys. And like I said, I use this to help me prepare my own tax return this year. And, and man, oh man, if you, if you go to this right here, your accountant, if you have a CPA or an enrolled agent who helps you with your taxes, if you give them your records, 
very nicely summarized like this, they will appreciate you so much. What I find is that many business owners, especially if, when they're first starting out, you know, they, they over, they obviously sales and marketing is very important, obviously, super important, but just as important as also the accounting and compliance side, because you want to, you have to know what's going on financially in your company and also within your, with your tax situation and what you might be facing tax wise. And you can't do that if, if you're, if a person's not, a person can't do that, if they're not keeping track of their books and their records throughout the year, they're not going to know where they stand they're not a lot of people can't even tell you whether or not they're making money and that's really sad you don't want to be running a business like that it's very sloppy it's very unprofessional you want to truly run it like a business and i think the spreadsheet will help you do it and help you keep track of oh yeah how much am i spending every single month on these certain expenses for my business oh how much revenue am i generating oh did i make money did i, did I make a net profit in february did i not did i make a net profit in, in march did i not so I think this spreadsheet, I hope it helps you guys. I don't wanna ramble on because I think you're gonna be able to figure it out. Remember, if you double click on a cell, you're gonna see where it's linked. So like this right here, this $31.29, if I double click on that, it says computer equipment is D24. Well, you just go down here to computer equipment and there it is right there. And for the February column, there's that $31.29 and it feeds right into this. Real quickly, final review. So this income column feeds this, the income section on the front of the spreadsheet, and these different expense tabs like computer equipment, gifts and promotions, all of that feeds into this worksheet, okay? It fills out this for you as you, as you update these other tabs. And then this, this profit and loss statement for end of the year, this is fed all of this information is fed into this by this. So, so this feeds this. And then as you can see, your net, inc your net income loss right here, it should match what it is right here. So if I go over here, there it is. So on P&L by month, we have $3,541 for Chipper's YouTube channel. And then profit and loss by end of the year, net income or loss is $3,451.17. It matches and it ties out and you know you're good. So this would be the statement if, you're, if you have an accountant that I would probably recommend you give them. And then if they want more detail and if you've taken the time to fill all this stuff out, I know it's tedious. Now obviously if you have a lot of transactions, it might be worth it to purchase QuickBooks or, or another software program. But if you don't have a lot going on, an Excel spreadsheet can absolutely work. And even if you do have a lot going on, you can still use this and it can still work for you. And, and you can, it'll produce a nice profit and loss statement for you every single month. Now, when, what I recommend for you guys, if you wanna download this and use it for yourself, is I recommend you download this from the Dropbox link below and then keep that as one file and then download it again or copy that initial file and paste it and rename it something else so that you always have this example to fall back on. If you accidentally mess up one of the links, you can, you can open keep the other copy separate so that you can go back into the original file and see kind of how I linked it if you're new to Excel. Remember guys, all you have to do to see if something's linked is double click on it or just even click on it once and it'll show you right up here whether or not something is linked. I know, sorry guys, I know it's hard to see that it's because there are certain aspects of Excel, Excel I can't seem to zoom in on. But I think you guys get the idea. Let me know your thoughts, comments, questions in the comment section below. I hope you find this helpful. This is something I use now to track my own ex income and expenses within the YouTube channel here on Money and Life TV. And if you have whatever kind of business you have, you can absolutely modify it for that purpose. And I've searched online for different templates. I couldn't find anything like this, so I decided to make it and just share it with you guys. Like I said, guys, this is based on what I've seen over the years as a working as a CPA now for over seven years, I've seen all different kinds of ways people keep their books. And if you, like I said, if you give your accountant something like this, something very clean and precise like this, they're going to love it. They're going to see how organized you are. And you're best of all, more importantly is you're going to know how you're doing within your business every single month. So it's very important. You take the time to do that. Keep track of your receipts separately, all that stuff, or at least know where you, where you have them if you need to refer to them and keep your books up to date or even have somebody help you keep your books up to date. 
and you can proceed forward with the other aspects of your business that are probably a lot more fun than record keeping. But anyways, guys, I love you so much. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I really appreciate all the likes you guys have been dropping on the videos. It's been helping this information reach more and more people. So definitely, if you like this video today, make sure to drop a like. Share this information with a friend, especially somebody who's thinking about starting their own business or who's, who's already in business. This simple Excel template might be able to help them better keep track of their, their books and records so they know what where they, where they stand profit-wise. Last but not least, if you're new to Money & Life TV, welcome to the channel. Our goal and mission on this channel is to help you become fiscally fit. And we do that by teaching finances, investing, taxes in life on a regular basis. So be sure to subscribe to not miss any of our future uploads. And if you hit that bell notification icon below the video, that will notify you every time I post a new video. I try to post a new video about once per week on average. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much once again for spending time with me here on YouTube. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to be here. I love hanging out with you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, live your life on Caged. Peace.